Yep. Okay. Uh, what I'd like to do is show you guys how to solve uh, this exponential equation. So what we need to do for this problem is, um, first of all, we need to look at where our variable is, right? And we see our variable is as an exponent. So we need some way to be able to get our variable down to the bottom. So there's a couple rules that I'm going to that we need to understand and remember. One is uh, an inverse property of logarithms, which if you guys remember, there's two things. If I have log base a of a, that equals one, right? And log base a of a raised to the x is going to equal x. Since that whole thing equals one, when it's raised to an exponent, it's just going to equal x, right? And then another reason why is remember you could always bring the x in front, so it'd be x times that. Well. That equals 1, so x times 1 is obviously just going to equal x. So that's why that works. So you guys need to make sure you understand that. Then the next thing we need to know is remember our one-to-one -one properties. Now, I've gone over this multiple times. If I gave you guys two exponents like this, you'd say x has to equal what? 2, right? Has to equal 2. Yes. Well, the same thing is exactly true. So what I can really do, if I said... 2 is equal to x, it doesn't matter if I exponent, exponentiate these with any base, right? I can make the base 10, right, for both of these. x is still going to equal 2, right? I can raise both of these as powers, right? I can say 7, 7. And you'd still know that x has to equal 2, right? Okay. The same thing is exactly true with logarithms. If I said log of x equals log of y, then x has to equal y. Right? Yeah. Think of logarithms, guys. They're just like a function of anything else. So if you take the square root on one side, right, you have to take the square root on the other side. You're not changing, actually, the function. You know, you're not changing what your x and y. So here, I need to look at this, and I need to say, well, I need to get rid of this um, negative t raised to our negative t divided by 2 um, as my exponent. I need to get rid of it. So what I know I can do is if I rate, if I put this to the log base 5, then what I can do is I can essentially cancel that out and get my exponent. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to raise this and take the log of base 5 of 5. See, because then I know I can cancel that out. So I'm going to manipulate this equation. But remember, whatever I do on the left side, I have to make sure I do on the right side. So I have log base 5 of 0.20. Why didn't you do the other side? Do what on the 5? Like, you know how you have the... Why didn't you put it log he raised base it to 5 to 5? Yeah. No, because like, you have two files on the left-hand side. Why don't you have two files on the right-hand side? He raised it to the top of 5 so it cancels out. Oh, because the 5? Okay, so you just have log 5 and then you brought down what's on top. <laughs> So that's that 5 right there, and that's the 0.20 from there. Okay, he's right there. But they're both, yes, so they're both to log 5. So now, that's going to essentially say cancel out. So I'm left with negative t over 2 equals log base 5 of 0 0.20. Now here, it's just mathematics of what we need to do. So here, since I have a fraction, I can get rid of my fraction by multiplying by 2. Then I notice that my variable is negative. So I'm going to not you know, kill two birds with one stone, and I'm just going to multiply by negative 2 to make my uh, t positive. Are you going to multiply by Yep. I'm going to multiply by negative 2. You can multiply by 2 and then multiply by negative 1. No, because now those are going to cancel out, and my negative and my negative phase will make a positive. So there I'm left with t oh. equals... Oh. Oh. Shh. Log base 5 of point two zero. All right? Now, then if you guys are going to be calculating this by using your change of base form, you could do a negative 2 times log um, point two zero over log of 5. Wait. So with the, uh, the second last one, the T is We'll talk about that as far as your test goes, but for right now I'm just showing you if you're typing your calculator there. He was just asking would this be acceptable or this, but I don't have a calculator to find the approximate. I said when you guys take a test, I'll show you what you know is acceptable and so forth.